Oh my. But hello everybody. And welcome. And let's see what this is all about. The Stanley Parable. I thought that was me going live. I'm not used to using a camera anymore. But here we go. Hi. <laughs> now you can see why I don't use a camera anymore. <laughs> like the first thing that came to mind when I turned in and like so I'm looking like a pressed fat girl when someone murdered their cake. That's basically her. Uh subtitle language. If I can have my mouse in game, no. English, thank you very much. Uh confirm. Yeah. Yes, I have played the Southern Parable before. <clears throat> Uh, I want to kind of keep it on the light side, but for me and for you guys, so like I can still see it like there. But I'm uh, I'm gonna just keep it in the middle. It's fine. And to the current time. Um. <laughs> oh, this is always good. No. Uh, 43. I'm gonna sync this up properly. Okay, it's fine. It's like half a minute. <laughs> okay. It wants to know the time. It's really late. <laughs> no, wait, did it say PM or. No, PM or. I don't know. Uh, let's begin. And we just do the settings. Let's go. Oh, I love the Stanley Parable. I can't wait to see what this is. This is the story of a man named Stanley. <laughs> Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and, and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Uh, Orders came to him through a monitor yeah, on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how enough. long to push them. And in what order? Yeah, the rest of my this is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. It's just a spray, and although it? others might have considered it so winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Yeah, Stanley was happy. Can't, I'm afraid to click out of the game. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. This is the new one, right? No one had showed up to give him instructions, <laughs> call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. What if I don't wanna? Oh, we're sliding. We. Yeah, this is new. I can't jump through. Them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Oh, ooh, okay. I didn't think it would exit that quick that much. I'm gonna lower my sound a little bit and the game sound for you a little bit. Uh, this is the new one, right? Yeah, it is. Cause I like oh. <laughs> Cause I'm on my way to getting the achievement of not playing this for five years. This is 2017. 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Actually, I'm gonna get that achievement now soon. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. I'm close on this one, actually. That's why I was like, oh, I did the right one, right? Oh, but I did. Okay. Uh, go back in. What if I don't want to leave? What happens if you don't leave? I can crouch. Freaking anywhere, just I'm right here. 
writing stuff. I guess I'm gonna have to leave. I kind of want to stay. <laughs> you can't jump, but I won. <laughs> I have not looked at the achievements. I can't run either, but I'm doing. Okay, let's go. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? What? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Window. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. <laughs> At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Oh, uh, and light some today. Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Yep. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. <laughs> but now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea, but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Would it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? <laughs> How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. <laughs> Well, now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Am I actually just going to sit in here? Can I, can I say yes? Can I say no? I have no clue, like, what is actually worth doing here. I don't remember what I did last time when I did jumped out of but I don't remember this as a choice, so I think this is new. But I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, I'm just... I don't know, should I restart? No one is here. I have no clue like what to do here. If I need to wait for like five minutes, if I need to wait for like two minutes. If I need to wait at all, if I'm just here for no reason. Okay. Let's uh the game again. Okay, that's the feature. Okay, let's do it properly. Let's listen to all that he says first. All of his co workers were gone. Yet. What could it mean? I still want to touch Stanley first. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Let's see how similar this actually is. Let's be let's be good. Let's be good. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Did he? I am gonna try to lose him. There's the broom closet. I want it. This is the exact same. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Can I open up this idea? To get out of court. Just horrible ideas. Room closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. What would be the difference between this one? Back in. 
There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. I'm gonna Google the achievements to see, like, kind of how similar these two are. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Are you are you really still in the broom closet? Yep. Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. This is a thing where because he keeps talking, but when I was in the white area, he didn't. Why I'm you do realize there's no here. choice or anything in here, right? I know. If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. The game is too new. <laughs> I need to open my own Steam, I think. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Ow! Did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet the ending same, was my same favorite. Though. I hope your friends find this concerning. Is this why people who has the game already gets a discount? Because it's Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He well, probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. Oh, that or with drug money. Robert. Also, I'm Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. I thought I'm not. <laughs> Oh, still in the purple. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. Hey, look at it. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical melody of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible Sorry. thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. The game start again? Hello? Anyone who happens to be Number nearby, the person at this computer eight. is dead. They have fallen prey to any yeah. number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to oh, take their the time place, thing. making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. So that the like irony the and insightful commentary of this game is, is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. So this is not a gym, okay? Because I was kind of hoping that would be that. Um. Okay. The blocks. The S. Original. Okay, so there's a lot of new stuff here. Mm. So remake and pseudo sequel to the original. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Okay. But I think we're done here. Okay. So ah, done. second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee. You can't do any worse than the person who came before you. How about that? You too? <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. I have a cat. A fish? A fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. <laughs> I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. So sad. <laughs> He's waiting until I'm here. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Let's go. Let's go. That's true. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again <coughs> stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. I don't remember. Shocked, the code. 
unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley windows. happened to input the code. Oh, it's dark. By sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. He's spooky. This I don't remember. This is not the same. Oh, it's so dark. <laughs> Let's go, uh, let's go this way. Eh. <laughs> Do wash my hands. I have I combed my hair, so I have a little bit of brown like Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years hate. it had never occurred to him? <laughs> this question would not go unanswered for long. Can I click again? I can, but it works. I guess it doesn't work. Uh, let's take a second. Stanley walked straight ahead Follow. through the large door that read Mind oh. Control Facility. Oh, it's so much darker than the previous one. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't make it darker. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Were... Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? <laughs> well, let's go. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. No. There is no freedom here. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to Oregon. believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yep. Life would be so much easier though no. if someone could just push a button he like to satisfaction. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Two, three, Never. It was Two, unthinkable. Wasn't it? One? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to go. the world? Not four. Okay. Oh, yeah, this one. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. <laughs> okay. Let's be a good girl the first round now. <clears throat> Let's turn it off. What now? Blackness and a rising chill Blackness. of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. No. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet... Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? 
me what out. other mysteries did this strange building hold? Creepy. But as sunlight streamed oh, into the down. chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. What if I want someone to Whatever walk? life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Can I actually go out into the stepped through the open door. What if I don't? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. No. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path <sighs> before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Ah, uh, back to the window ending. <laughs> oh, get the game. Okay. Really? Okay. The end is never the end, is never the end, is never the end, is never the end. All of his co-workers- Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? Yep. No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true team. reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? One run. This shift does nothing. Uh, 417. Ooh. Great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. It's going to trick me, trick me out of there. Now, back to door number 437. <laughs> It'd be exhausting in real life. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> this is still the exact same. Like they said, like a remastered. Oh, 17. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. Let me up. Yes! This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. <laughs> We've almost got it! Now the copy machine, do that one again! <laughs> so happy. Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door 430! Yes! We did it! <laughs> oh, wow. That felt amazing. <laughs> oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. No, Just think, it's not only there. a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? But this is old stuff. When Stanley well. came to a set of two open... No. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly yep, well. I don't want to. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah... <sighs> Yes, truly a room worth admiring, another. but eager to get Thank back you. to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nah. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Death! But 
in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley left from the platform and plunged to his death. Death. Good job, Stanley. Yeah. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. I did it. You can't control me. How dare you? I get my boxing change. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Anyway, Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Okay, Perhaps um, he had simply missed a memo. I'll try to do the, the quick thing, like four minutes, whatever. When Stanley came to a set of two oh, open doors, the code. he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. I think it's better if Feeling I don't actually. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his... Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I think it's better if I don't. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of Two, any four, human life. Eight, what five. could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud nah. to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. I wouldn't say new aged. Let's go! Do I quit and start up again the game? Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the open passageway. God, I'm looking ads. Go away. <laughs> I don't know where it comes from. I'm in game. I'm busy. Loading times does not count in the timer thing, but... Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I can not read it. Okay, well, anyway. I, I'm gonna an have to watch some people do this, because I don't... Screens. This what is horrible just the secret Stanley did this place hold? Stanley this is... To himself. <laughs> did he have the strength There's no difference out? yet. I know, like, this is a huge game, like, there's a lot of secrets and whatnot. Like, it was 7 gigabyte or something to download. Now, the monitor Which is pretty big life. for a game. Their but... true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Know. Stanley's co workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom. I, I'm glad I remember nothing. the numbers, I just did not remember the order of it. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring yep. job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it? Did he remastered? It's not really... Not really no. much of a difference here. He refused to believe it. Yep. He couldn't accept it. His was... own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Like Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls yeah, labeled damp, with nothing. emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided. <laughs> Game didn't want that. I did the same as last time. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes, he had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, 
Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? Said, oh, how had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other numbers. mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. <laughs> For it was not nice. knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand. How can two, to like it go. came up today? No how can 2.5 have people have percent of people how to feel. have played Whatever like life not been lives, playing this for ten it years? Will be his. <laughs> they didn't change their time on the computer though. <laughs> it was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. I'm trying. Stanley felt the cool breeze no. upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. Came up there. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to I'm happen. I'm not that early. It's okay. That's and nice. Stanley was happy. Achievement? Please? I look better with brown hair. I should color it. Come on. No, I didn't get it. Dang it. I'm gonna try that one later on. Okay. Um. Sorry. Number nine. Ah, enter eight into the boss's keyboard eight times. Okay, that's easy. I should have done that earlier. Okay, anyway. Uh. Hold on. No, I can't do both at the same time. Properties. Okay. Nothing happened. Oh, whatever. This is... Oof. Okay. Okay. It was a little more difficult than I thought it was going to be, but okay. Um... I also don't know because this is the previous one. Uh, well, deluxe. Looks most likely the same. Yeah, I couldn't find the achievements on that one. Okay, uh, I'll do that one later too. Then, in that case, also do this. Mm. I really want to see. I want this screen, thank you. I'm gonna quit and start again. I'm gonna try and do that one on the other one. At the same time. This one. Settings. Yeah. To all the wrong numbers. I don't know what that means. I also don't know what this one is. No, that's the. Um. um Settings. Ah. 
I don't remember what these were on. <laughs> I'm gonna be screwed. All the numbers. All the numbers. I don't know. This is the story of a man named Stanley. <laughs> this is the story of a man named Stanley. Hmm. This. This. I'm just sitting. I have such a bad posture. <laughs> How am I sitting? I'm sorry. This is the story of a man named Stanley. This is that. I'm hungry too. It's four in the morning. Okay. Numbers. No numbers. Okay, it feels fine still. But I didn't get the thing. Hello. This is a recorded message scheduled either by you or a person in your place of work. The purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. If at any time you believe you are listening to a recorded message, please terminate it immediately and cease all flow of information from the recorded message into your perceptual sphere. Thank you not and have a pleasant day. That truck is so uncomfortable. Can I? Nope. Great. <laughs> The ones doing the important work. Is my PC on? Can I turn it off? No. Can I turn on the PCs? Turn off the PCs. Am I doing something? Did I say anything? No, I didn't. Does the screen thing move? No, it doesn't. It doesn't move so well. Okay. Did I just wait here? No. Does it continue? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. I don't know. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. I think he says something yes, in here too as well, room. but I, I've done this. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open okay, door. Okay, let's on not his left. jump off and kill ourselves this time. It's just misbehave. So it's not misbehave and business at all. Five years ago. Look, Do Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. I can here. jump off midair and land on that. Really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. 
someone okay. you forgot. You really? 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 I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration? Danger everywhere. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yes. Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really line. do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Whoop. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked Whoop. through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating Whoop. properly. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. <laughs> you want to know so badly what's out There's there? Nothing. You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. <laughs> I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. <laughs> Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. But yeah, this is still the same. Like, was it worth ruining the What is the entire different? Story written out specifically I know it's a great game, you? but... Do you not think it's I put a lot of time into that? As it's someone who watches a lot of YouTube, like, in the end, it was all for I'd prefer to watch people play it than help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these replay it myself. I have already what a bunch of hours in this game. game better. What did you want to see? Vehicles? How, much, how many hours do I have in the normal one? I have 2.7 hours. That's an odd number. Guild trees? In the previous, Work with in the me, previous game. Me absolutely nothing so far. So, Tell like, I've played this for three hours already. Design, and you can give me some feedback. Plus, I watched people play there we go. it. It's a glorious. Third option. Yes. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a sp Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Five. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Mm. Well, it's instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea minutes. came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that. I don't Stanley. understand. Don't even try. Here, I slide based on a little the data more? from your previous I playthrough, I've been a new version. Mm. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Nope. Now I know I'm on the bottom. Uh. Mm. <laughs> Seven hours? What? Seven minutes? N none of this is correct. <laughs> Brandless is empty. <laughs> I'll go the way he wanted me to go. Oh. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working oh, on. No. Now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some oh, playtest. the baby game. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Oh, no. In this game, the baby crawls left I don't wanna... towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. Like, Mad Pat got someone to do this for like really hours upon notice. hours. But of course, the message or like an hour of the game at least. Only becomes but why just have, have like, why not just have like an auto clicker? So why don't you give it four mm, hours like, of play to make sure it's Four hours. Effective. You played it for sure four hours. On your experience. <laughs> just mute it. Uh, my parents are asleep at home. At home. Upstairs. I'm gonna let this baby burn. You heartless bastard. <laughs> so if you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me. Probably both. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't I hate babies. Do. I'm just super fucking no I can't idea what to do. think of a single thing. I haven't that seen one since my little sister was a baby you. and uh, I'm not well, even I trying. I'm out. I'm out. I tried to I'm interact out. with a kid once. Thank you for uh. <laughs> Your input was extremely valuable. 
Oh, hey. Since my I haven't held a baby. I haven't dealt with a baby or seen game? like a Just proper baby pain. like Let's see. that what I have been have? around. Like I've seen pe mm -hmm. like, babies in stores and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But since my yes. little sister was this a baby, like and that's like up. 20 years ago. <laughs> that's a long time ago. <laughs> and I was like five. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Aha! Fascinating. This is new. This game is about stuff. Hi. What's our backstory? What is our motivation? <laughs> Heck. Mm. But it seems <gasps> odd to that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you. No, we're a firefighter. Tower, perhaps for some sort really? of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything oh, about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Two forks. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Yes. Do I not need my backpack? <laughs> this forest burns here? Oh my god. Oh, he didn't catch himself. Where's Stanley? It's not, yeah, the outhouse is there. Oh my god. Oh, no. Is this a sim developer? Oh, it has no, to be. Can't be. It is. It's an open world game. Good is God, it, was this in the previous off. one? I can't remember. Uh, no! Oh, Fourth burn. Thank goodness, Stanley. What a good through... call. No. You really wandered off into that that thing. That big open, just wandering around. No. no right or wrong directions. No path to follow. You can just go in any... This has oh, to be new, right? I cannot remember away. this. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, no. I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. No. Preferably something with walls. I remember something Minecraft nice, was the thing that we tried. Insurmountable walls. <laughs> okay. I think this will be just the thing. Did we play this? I can't remember. If we did, then I must have seen everything sound the parable. This, this is new. <laughs> Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> Just a nice a big car. box for you to run around in. I there isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Jump. Now this is game design. Going into Stand, the if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Is there a car I can get into? Okay, so what exactly do we do here? There is cars and there are lots of football. cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. <laughs> we should run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. <laughs> okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. My oh, place is so far away. But I want to go into the goal. Oh, no. What are you doing? No. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I'm sliding. I have so many whiskey words. I'm so sorry. Oh God. Okay, there's an. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't <laughs> help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. It's Stanley. so dark. Oh. Is this portal? Okay. We're in. D oh God. Oh no. Is thunder here? Okay, that's back there. Is this the back rooms? This is terrifying. Okay, it looks like that's the only way to go, okay. Uh, let's go back to my office, shall we? Oh, there's light. Let's go. <laughs> I'm generally terrified right now. 47. Yeah, that's me. Yep. Nothing to do here. It's so dark. I can't do anything. We, we lost the narrator. We have no one to read. I so wonder what much. he found. <laughs> if what he wanted was to be the leading oh man God, in his own story, away. well, perhaps he's gotten it. 
down in wherever he is right now. <laughs> I wonder if he's happy with his choice. Oh no, but and I wanted to play I wanted to play Lockerbleg. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone yeah. will wrap everything up at the end. That's gonna say like we lost the narrative. Out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh yes. I need to go back yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. She knows that the baby's Once this ends, mm. after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Uh, Very soon. See. I can wait. <laughs> can I move? I guess I have not reset me. <laughs> no, can I go back? I wanna play Rocket League. <laughs> oh, I love Firewatch, it's so nice. But yeah, no, that's hundred percent me. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Okay, let's Stanley see. just needed to exactly get exactly what we did last time. And from then on, he would never be able to get back to where we were again. Oh, screw that. New content. What does that mean? New content. So anything else on the other side? Can't pass that. Never mind. Let's go. What is this? I almost thought they were gonna be okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's so obvious. Is this a horror game now? <laughs> Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please. Step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Yes, that's why I'm here. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. <laughs> I'm very excited <laughs> to see the thrilling Thank you. new Ultra Deluxe Thank you, good among you. I'm so excited to explore this game now, because I'm actually yeah, getting into new territory. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning mm. of a mesmerizing adventure. What's happening? Um, oh, is it okay. What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... Uh, oh, nope. there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. We're gonna I've go never be more ready. Let's back do it. to where someplace we've been, right? No, it should still be new. I'm not. I have no clue. Hmm. There I needs to, to say, be... initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Mostly tedious. It's as if the... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. <laughs> All right. Jump circle. All right. Let's see. It's the jump circle. I can't. Oh, I can't jump outside of it. You can jump. <laughs> I'm gonna use the, all of these. Keep some. What's happening on the back? Nothing. Okay. Let's use them all. <laughs> nah. Not alone. Such a <laughs> is, is that it? <laughs> Surely that's not all the new content. <laughs> there has to be something else, right? Goodness. Let's hope so. <laughs> Stanley, I have to say. Initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just yeah. I need to find out like jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? Why we lost it on the final content? one? We skipped the, the damn. Dictionary. There's twenty hours of new content we... right there. Hell, I, I wanted to go to the box. I wanted to go. You can put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if oh wait, there's more. I have I have Very no cool. clue because. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. I feel like this Let's is kind of it. buying the first I'm game again, but is. have like extra materials. 
Frenchine and That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens chair. when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base the rush same a order. cheap expansion uh, to no. market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. Right. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I I intend to <laughs> find these people on Twitter and hold them Twi personally accountable. Sure. Oh, it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content. I'm afraid it could never have lived up to such expectations. Okay. You remember if you're still with me, other types of why don't games? we just reset the game, and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. Some new no frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time no together, clue. like always. What do you say, friend? Do I have a choice? No, I don't. <laughs> okay, it's not, so now we're going back. Mm. Um. Psst. Stanley, come over here in the vent. I want to show you something. Okay, I, I feel like that's just gonna lead us back to where we're, I need to vent. Let's go. <laughs> Can't not. It's a vent. Shady AF. Let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is this game? What is this extra stuff? Able. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? <laughs> well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made the something ball. special Sorry, and tucked it away here where the game's developers what? won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. I call it the Memory yeah. Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can I relive the peak thing. experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. <laughs> Someone dropped off of a baby here? You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video <laughs> games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. The clock is not right. Oh, the waste. <laughs> Memory lane. Oh, it's so bright, I can't... I don't remember her name. It's so nice here. This these flowers though. <laughs> and over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning so triumph of games journalism. Ten out of ten from destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote. Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Mm. Did you hear that, Stanley? Mm -hmm. Every game ever created. Well, That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley mm. Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, yeah, it's not share with that one. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new what? elevator content. Hmm. Prison of the Year. Dickhead. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. 
The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and mm. one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. And why did he come up with the you can't time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories? It's gonna get so much more attention now, though. How am I gonna get past this? Was blocked. There it is. Help. A serious one. Try to hold shift and the thumbs up here. Read. Am I going back? Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait. Hang on. Oh, no. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Oh no. Oh god no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, <laughs> the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Mm. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> what? Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, oh, come on. with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! <laughs> I'm not trying to be oh. funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Uh, we all got it right. Thunder. Okay, let's see what this one says. Read that one. While the idea for the game is good, mm, 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 for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? <laughs> Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? Uh, you can tell me if I'm well. preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for Sorry. me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to dialogue? begin with. Monologue? You can't dialogue. know how much fluff I cut from the game to get <laughs> it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. <laughs> I feel like and a failure. Satisfy like everyone. I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations <laughs> of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. I will just like walk. A skip button? Well, well, yes, yes. I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then. Then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment. I think it's allowing me to drown myself here. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Bank. That's my motto. Or not. And it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we no, shall have. Okay. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people, and if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue, and it goes something like this. The story, and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time, everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 We've eaten too much, and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245. 
got the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years, until just yesterday, here and there, okay, forward and back, and never a minute before through. lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say... The story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably we all so until the end of time, at which time everything all at once. So now you see, blah 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 blah. We've eaten too much, and it can't be just yet. No, no, until two hundred and forty-five. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly ten thousand years until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. I want to see. Be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say. The story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 we've eaten too much and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years, until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so yeah. much more than forever? Blah, 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 blah. Which is why Whatever. I say the story and the choices, or what have you. And therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once, yeah, so, no. now you see, blah, 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 blah. It's, it's <laughs> just repeating my turn. <laughs> oh, you're back, you see. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, <laughs> but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Or maybe a manifesto. Look, I'll outline it for you very briefly and you can tell me what you think. Okay. So my theory is that any choice you've ever made is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are, or were, or will be at the time of having made said choice. That is to say, if by articulating a choice you've already made, you bring that choice into being, then by making no choice and saying nothing, are you not simply erecting in the sanctuary of time a monument to every person you've ever been, making every choice to which you've ever given your great gift of mortal and yet timeless thought? Or rather, do all of the choices you've ever made in fact make you more not this kind of person and in fact do the very opposite? You see, it could in fact be both of these things at once that you are both making choices and not making choices, and that they are both affecting you and not affecting you at the same time by virtue of the fact that you both are and are not making them. Okay, at first, I was leaning towards manifesto, but now I'm going to circle around and slap the treatise label on this one. No, I think it has much look. more of a treatise vibe to it. Never but wouldn't you say that manifesto just has a much grander sort of tone? It has a oh, mouth that, that, is, that is rich with ambition and history. Ambitious history. It definitely wants me to skip again, though. Ah. See, now you've got me going back to manifesto. Heavens, at this rate, we're going to be here all day. Okay, look. I have a method for exactly this sort of situation, and I do find myself in this situation frequently. <laughs> I'm going to say each word back and forth in repeated succession oh, no. until I become sick of one or the other, in which case the word I am not sick of shall be the victor. It is an unimpeachable strategy, Stanley. It's rescued me from disaster in countless situations. All right, here we go. Treatise, manifesto. Treatise, manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. It's gonna go on forever. <laughs> <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. 
To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. I guess I should become better educated on exactly how Steam works. Perhaps that would have been the smart thing to check on before I went about this whole exercise of making the skip button. Although I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting new technology at work, surely whoever it is runs Steam will instantly run out and implement a new feature to make it possible to edit one's review, merely because of this very situation. Yes, I think that's quite likely. Or perhaps they'll simply grant this particular user the ability to change their review, so that the feature is not widely abused. Look, I would even be okay with Steam altering this particular review so that it reads as something more beneficial. Something along the lines of, this game is the best game. Hmm, let me start over. How about this? From the, from the ashes of depravity rises the phoenix of quality. How else to describe the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe? Such a revolutionary step forward in the lineage of one of the most beloved video game properties of all time. There must the be someone who's and typing changes this made to this expansion <laughs> will surely resonate in the annals of the history of all media ever made. It is perhaps true to say that no mistakes are forever etched in stone, for the stone into which the Stanley Parable was carved has itself like been transmuted. <laughs> Offering a message of hope to those who have ever erred in their judgment. Skeeters. You are not beyond redemption. You may change. And you may become tonight. more, so, so much more than might you be were annoyed. before. My if there is any message to be taken from the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, it is this. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just... Wait, how do we get out of here? Where did the door go? Wasn't there a door that led into this room? I want to skip so I badly. I feel quite certain that there was one here before. How else would we have gotten into the room? I the really want to say, I see a real this one can into a room without a door of some Because he cannot a follow or orders. Like that. Do you see a window anywhere? A porthole? A sufficiently Portal. large crack in the wall? I'll take any of these. All I want is for us to move on and to please step away from the skip button to go anywhere other than the skip button. There was a door here before, wasn't there? I swear there was. Where did it go? Can you maybe just ram your way through a wall? Is, is there any possibility that you could, say, slam your body into the wall until enough damage is done for you to be able to leave? Please, I'll take any option at all. I'm asking you to work with me here. I... We need a door. We need a door of some kind. I can work with any kind of door as long as it can open and lead from... Stanley! Stanley! <laughs> Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. <laughs> You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button and if you I'm keep like pressing in it, between I have no idea what will happen I have wanting no to just idea like how long press it I'll hundred times sit here and more than anything else I don't know how to and stop you from pressing the hear button him again out. I can't control anything in this room Stanley I can't touch it but I can to believe I have to know that sooner or later no matter how much I plead with you you're going to press the button again why would you I've been thinking and thinking and I, I don't know what I can do to convince you otherwise oh my god God. <laughs> and it's all because of those reviews. Those reviews. I don't want to hear it. Oh, Stanley. You're back. You're back. I'm just dead. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I I think it's been a week. Or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Well, would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Also, I should go to just bed. talking, but it isn't Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Yeah, I thought that was going to be the last. Oh, 
Hello, it's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about our... I went... <laughs> kind of was... Is that the same again? I don't want to hear but that. They didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to <laughs> speak to the human it. condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, Entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review. What is happening? The end is never the end is never the end is never the He's end so is never the end 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 is never the Oh oh no Oh stuff has changed Changed. Send him the steroid. Oh, it's the right time now. Oh, what is happening? Am I stuck? No, I'm not. Thank God. <laughs> what? It, mm. Hi. This is nice then. This is more and more like portal. So I keep pressing a keyboard. Oh no. We're back. To the depressing land. This is terrifying. This <laughs> what? Yeah, no, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna leave. Oh <laughs> it's it's fallen over. My screen is crashing. You're free. The narrator is gone, though. I have no clue where I'm going. Just following the rocks. What is this? Is this a journey now? The wrong sounds here. I don't know where to go now. Can I just like move? Oh. Yes. Yes. I don't want <laughs> My screen is crashed. I don't know what to do now. Is that a new mosquito bite? Because if it is, then I don't know what to do. Yeah, okay, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. Well, this one is black again. The new content is still here. The new, new content. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm gonna have to end it here, though. Quite too many. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is crazy. Also, I need to... I'm gonna quit to this. Oh, my screen's back. Hold on, I need to grab my stuff. Let me grab all the ass, please. I can't move my mouse. No. Nope, missed again. That's not what I'm trying to move. Oh no, I made it tiny! Oh no! I can't even point the camera because... I don't want to let go of this one. Is it there? 
Do you like that? Okay. No. Let me grab it. Okay, hold on. There. <gasps> I got it. I, I made it like this. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Okay, I got this. That's, that's okay, we're good. Okay, but I'm gonna end this here though. Because this is crazy and I've been going for a long time and you can see the clock. It's five in the morning. And I need to be ready in, in like ten hours to leave. So if I get eight hours of sleep, I have two hours left. So yeah, I'm gonna end this here. So thank you so much, God is Among You, for subscribing to me again. You're my only subscriber right now. And thank you everyone else for watching as well. I'm... I'm happy to continue on with this game i don't know when i think i'm gonna i don't know that's the thing we'll see we'll see but anywho thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna be back again tomorrow as always or well, tonight later on tonight i guess since it's already day the sun is coming up and it's quite until i'm gonna know so i'm gonna wake people up so, so i'm gonna say so bye Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed this, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody. Good night. Sleep.